Let's begin now. Welcome back, everybody, to the Fantasy Golf Bag Podcast. This is Drew, also known as Red Kachik. And uh, yeah, last week said there would be no more podcasts, and as far as I know, um, we won't be doing a podcast, but I think there's still some discussion around um, the media and content going forward. Uh, If you haven't already heard, Fantasy Golf Bag, um, as of last week, was shutting down website, podcasts, etc., and a, a lot of people reached out, and uh, I do want to say thank you to everybody that did. Um, a lot of people, you know, sent their their well wishes as far as the podcast helping them out, and and how they would miss the podcast, etc. And even our members in Slack, um, very very nice gestures as we essentially were shutting down the website, um, and it's still the case. Um, but a lot of people reached out and were able to create a deal um, for for myself um, and also Axis and then Skyler to contribute to a new website um, called FTN Fade the Noise uh, with Brad Evans, Jeff Ratcliffe, and uh, and Kevin Adams uh, along with Elliot Chris. So we will be transitioning there this week. Uh, as you're listening to this podcast, you'll be you should be able to see our content on. Uh, their website, it'll be like FTN Daily, FTN Fantasy, uh, they have FTN Bets, and we'll be part of the FTN Golf Team um, as individual contributors trying to create the best content we can. And this was a this was a big uh, opportunity, obviously, for the guys that are running it, but also from our perspective, uh, as we mentioned last week, there's a lot of different personal things have come up recently. Obviously, with a with a baby and family, and I have obligations outside of the website. Um, so, with that note, I'll, I'll be stepping away from Rotor Grinders. I won't be contributing any longer. Um, so, this basically just narrows my plate down to just FTN. Uh, essentially, I can just do content for for fantasy golf, which I wanted to do from the start, and I have the opportunity to work with them to develop tools that we were always limited with time and money. Um, at Fantasy Golf Bag to go and do. So I can speak for Axis and Skyler that uh, this was kind of a breath of fresh air as far as um, letting us focus on what we want to focus on without having to actually quote unquote operate a website. Uh, and we get the opportunity to build out the tools that you know was Skyler's dream from the start. He, obviously, he has a ton of data with the rolling stats and he rolled that into our extended approach data. We have Euro data. So like He's got grand ambitions for tools, um, and now we have that opportunity to basically go do that. Um, and at the same time, we can create content. So did want to give a brief update on that. Um, so if you don't already, you can follow me on Red, follow me on Twitter at Red Kachik, um, and we, I'll, I'll try to provide as much update through the week. This will be the first week they're actually launching the full website, and then golf is the biggest piece of that. Um, essentially because golf's really the only sport live besides NASCAR and MMA, um, and League of Legends, of course, League of Legends. Um, but yeah, I appreciate everybody. This, this is going to be, um, a a great opportunity for us. So if you've been following my work, been following Axis and Skyler, um, this is really a good avenue for them to basically broaden their scope, um, and contribute more time to the things that they really want to do, um, which is, you know, tools and then Axis really likes the betting side and content. Um, so if you do have any questions, you can reach out to me, um, that will be launching today, uh, July 7th. So you can go check that out. I think they'll be running a promo for the first week or two. Um, so you can check that out. You can check out our Twitter for that. Um, I did want to leave you guys, so I'm not going to go through a full podcast. So I apologize if you're tuning in to listen to the full show. It's been a lot of work in the last week, um, basically trying to make this work, um, without, missing a week of, of DFS content. Um, so what I will do though, is I will briefly touch on the golf course. Cause I think there's, um, some confusion and, and honestly some unknowns. Um, but I won't go through the player pool. I'll save that for FTN and what they want us to do. I think they'll be doing a live stream on Wednesday. Uh, and obviously all of our content along with a lot of other really, really good, um, DFS players in general, specifically PGA. But, uh, yeah, if you guys have questions, reach out. Let's dive into the golf course um, 
and I'll try to get try to give you some insight into how I'm viewing this week. Obviously, this is being played. Um, this is the Workday Charity Open. It's going to be played at Muirfield Village. So if you guys are familiar with the Memorial Tournament, Jack's Tournament um, at Muirfield, this is the same golf course. I think what happened, um, if I'm not mistaken, no, I'm looking at the schedule. So yeah, this replaces the John Deere Classic. So uh, Illinois, I guess, had a substantial rise in COVID cases back in uh, early June or late May, and they just didn't want to, basically didn't want to uh, hold the, the golf tournament where they always hold at TPC Deer Run in, in Silvis, Illinois, I think it is. Um, so this is going to take the place. They'll have back-to-back -back weeks at Muirfield Village. So what I'm going to do, I will bring up what uh, Muirfield showed us last year. Um, it be a slightly different field, but it's still a pretty strong field this week. Uh, and the word is, and I guess this is the, the unknowns for this week, we don't know how soft the golf course is and how they're going to make it a little easier versus next week, um, where next week is really, the Memorial Tournament's a big deal. It's like the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Um, so I anticipate Jack and, and the golf course itself kind of saving this week as basically don't burn the golf course out and, and don't ruin it for next week. Um, so with that, I don't know if, um, you know, if they've got a lot of rain recently. I didn't look into any of that yet, but I will bring up the golf course and uh, give you some pointers on how best to attack it this week um, from a overall golf profile standpoint. Um, so again, being played at Muirfield Village, um, it's a par 72, 7,400 yards. It's actually a pretty long golf course. Uh, I don't know, like last week was 7,400 yards or 7,300 yards, and it just didn't play long at all. Uh, we saw Bryson hitting at 350 yards. <laughs> I mean, kudos to him for figuring out golf. Um, now he can bomb driver, which it's already hard to hit hit it straight, and now he's hitting at 350 and straight. Um, it's, it's pretty mind-boggling. But uh, yeah, par 72, 74 yards, it's, it's a long golf course. The average approach distance is 167 yards, um, but the average proximity is 30 feet. So the green complexes kind of allow the longer approaches, and most of these holes will have feeders into like the pin location. So um, I, I would be, so in those two sentences really quick, um, longer approach distances. You heard me last two weeks, I looked at 125 to 150, this week, I'd be looking at 150 to 175 for birdie or better rates. Um, you could also look at proximity from 150 to 175. Um, and I'm leaning towards looking at 175 to 200 as like, you know, a value uh, decipher. Uh, I, I really want to focus the 150 number, 150 to 175, but I don't think it hurts if you look at guys down the board, um, if they're better with their longer irons. Um, that's probably a good tie break for you. Uh, scoring average is 72, uh, so just over par, uh, 72.08. Driving accuracy at 70%, so pretty high, not, not crazy. Driving distance at 282, so you can kind of see there, guys, as an average driving distance of 280, um, they're not hitting driver on every single hole. A lot of the rough is up during the, during the Memorial Tournament, so they tend to lay back. I don't know how bad the rough is this week. I've heard they've kept it down for the week and now they'll grow it up. But I, honestly, you can't really grow it up crazy amounts. They're going to have to cut it at some point. So um, I anticipate, uh, again, a lot of guys having that 150 to 175 number in. Um, the green is bent POA mix uh, and the green regulation number is 62%. So it's ironic that the green regulation number is so low. So I would definitely be looking at um, green regulation rates. And I think, I think the PGA tour, if you go to their website has a green regulation within, yeah. So if you go to the PGA tour website, um, and click on stats, there's a green regulation based on different buckets. And you can actually look at green regulation between 150 and 175 yards. Um, so there you'll see guys like Jim Furyk, Adam Hadwin, uh, Jason Day, James Hahn, Harris English, Xander Shoffley, and my guy from last week, Henrik Norlander. Um, that's, that's not a bad idea to get a golf course where even par is a good score. Just get guys that are going to hit a lot of greens. Um, they don't have to have a huge birdie or better rate, but certainly green regulation rate from that key distance will be, uh, will be important. Um, and that pretty much 
does it, I think. Uh, we saw uh, Cantley win it here last year. So expect a, a good leaderboard on Sunday. Hopefully you guys you guys get some 6 of 6s in um, and have a sweat on Sunday. So like I said, enjoy the week. Thank you so much for all the support. Um, I mean, honestly, we didn't expect so many people to reach out when we determined we were going to be closing Fantasy Golf Bag. It was certainly bittersweet, but it was nice to see the gestures. Um, and we're just happy that we have the opportunity now to transition to a new team um, at FTN and continue the content and continue the tools that we've you know sought out to develop over the last two years. So with that, guys, I will leave it there. Stay tuned for the FTN news as it launches today, July 7th. And then you can keep a lookout for my article, Axis's article, and Skyler's stat work um, over there at FTN uh, Fantasy. So we'll see you there, guys.